Hey you guys, AK47 Master here, back with some more Pokemon Leaf Rain of Fire Red, and on this episode we are going to be heading off to Seven Island, because it is the last island of the Sevi Islands. Okay, so heading into here, we're actually going to head straight off to the north, because there is a little uh, place we could go off the beaten path to, which is the Trainer Tower. Now, the Trainer Tower, to be perfectly honest with you, is nothing more than just a sad excuse for a battle tower. I'll just go inside to show you. Basically what it is, it's a tower full of trainers. The only thing different from the battle tower is you actually, I believe, get experience points for the Pokemon that you kill, or not kill, you make them faint. So, and there, there's not really much of a reason to go here. It is difficult to complete. Because the Pokemon will be at the same levels as you, and they'll actually be good Pokemon like Snorlax, Jolteon, yeah, and like tough Pokemon like Tyranitar, Ursaring, things of that nature. And uh, they'll be at the same level as you, so it'll be like an equal challenge, which is pretty difficult for Pokemon. So I mean, it's 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 good for you know a challenge if you want if you're looking for a challenge, but there's not really much of an incentive to do it because you don't really get anything out of it. So I wouldn't recommend going there or wasting too much time there. Anyway, so here we are in Savolt Canyon. And there is some uh, new Pokemon you can catch here. One of them being Ty... Not Ty... Larvitar. And Larvitar is a very good Rock-type Pokemon. Well, not at least until you fully evolve it to its final evolution, Tyranitar. Which is definitely the best rock type Pokemon in the game, in my opinion. Well, I shouldn't put it that way. It's, it's one of my favorite rock type Pokemon, which, to be honest. It's it's not my number one, it's just between that and Rhyperior. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Larvitar is definitely a very good Pokemon to your team. And it's probably the only Pokemon I would recommend picking up from the Sevi Islands. Um, that and Heracross. Those two Pokemon, nothing else. Those are the only two, like, really good Pokemon I would recommend picking up here. If you want to, some, for some reason, don't have a sixth member of your team. Definitely two very good additions. And Fampy is a pretty good ground type. Definitely, a, It's definitely a defensive tank, and it has some pretty nice attack and HP. And its final evolution, Don Fan, is definitely a great choice for a sand, not sand, a ground type Pokemon. Definitely compared to other ground types like Marowak or Sandslash, it's definitely, a, in my opinion, a better choice. Except, it does lack in the speed department. It's not exactly a speedy hedgehog, so in that sense, kind of loses a bit of its uh, luster. But overall, it's a good Pokemon. But I wouldn't recommend it at this point in this game. But if you're playing Crystal, which I believe is the only Johto region Pokemon game you could catch it in without training, I would definitely recommend it for that. Alright, so here we are in the... I do not remember what this place is called. Um, but basically, it's a big old rock puzzle. And most most people who play Pokemon know that there's always got to be a freaking rock puzzle in every one of these games. But anyways, um, basically to solve it, what you got to do is you got to get all these holes and push the rocks in each and every one of these holes. And uh, I think I already messed up. I might have messed up already, hold on. Um... Yep, I messed up, I messed I gotta go out. Alright, let me try this now. Trust me, it is very annoying to do this. Alright, there, now I believe you gotta do it like that. So now we got those two out of the way. So now... I'm trying to think here. Alright, I think I got it. Alright, I think I got it this time.
Alright, I think I got it this time. I think I got it. Yeah. You mainly gotta watch for these three, um, these three boulder holes. Those are the three ones you need. Those are the main ones you need to watch out for. Alright, let's walk over here and be very careful not to accidentally push the rocks or the boulders. Alright, so that's pretty good. I did, took care of this puzzle pretty well. Oh, oh, let me not mess myself up here. That would suck. After doing all of that, just to mess one up. Alright, there we go. A mysterious rumble echoed somewhere far away. Alright, that basically that's gonna that's now gonna activate a little thing we could do now at the end of Seven Island, which is a very a very small reward for all of that effort put into doing that. And you'll see what I mean once we get there. Oh my god, why do I have to do that? Okay, let's just take this guy out. But yeah, the reward really isn't that rewarding at all for all of that madness and effort put into it. Actually, I really didn't have a hard time because I already knew the puzzle. But if you don't know what to do, um, you're going to have a hard time doing, <laughs> taking care of that puzzle. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. And yeah. Unnecessary Pokemon battle for the lose. I wish you could choose whether or not you could actually fight a trainer. Not not just if they see you, they automatically battle you, because that's just annoying. They should do that for the next generation of Pokemon. Speaking of that, I heard they actually, um, that, uh, Game Freaker, I don't know, like, it's like some developer actually reserved the domain name PokemonGreat.com, which, it's the same guy who reserved the domain name PokemonBlackAndWhite.com, and, you know, those games actually did in fact come out so if anything if they're planning on making a remake to Pokemon Black and White it's definitely going to be called Pokemon Grey if anything and I know that's really old news but you know I need, just needed to put up something out there while we were I was doing that battle that was super annoying super boring that sucks when they just put two trainers right next to each other you can't stand next to one because one might battle you uh, of course, of all Pokemon, they had to pick Chansey. Oh my god. Chansey, if you don't already know, is a defensive tank. Trust me, it looks like an angel, but this is... Look at those eyes. That's the, Those are the eyes of the freaking devil with Chansey. An def absolute defensive tank, loads of HP, and... Watch me one-hit KO it. Of course. Of course, when I say how horribly high its HP is, it goes down in one shot with Cross Chop, of course. Uh, I look like such an idiot right now. Anyways, uh, let's head off to the... Um, we're almost at the end of Savault Canyon. And, alright, no more trainer battles, and yay! There we go. So here we are in the Tenobi Ruins. Now you're going to see what I meant by a very unrewarding reward we get for doing that strength puzzle and stuff. So you're going to see all these rear ends and I'm going to go to the... I, mean, I guess I'll go to this one and basically what we get for that is we get unknown. So yeah, we basically get to capture unknown here and there's all different types. I believe there's, it's, the whole, it's basically a Pokemon that represents the alphabet. Um, some people consider it a legendary Pokemon. Personally, I don't consider it a legendary Pokemon because when you battle one, it does it doesn't actually the legendary Pokemon music doesn't actually play. So in that sense, it's not really that much of a legendary. And here we go. Let's try to battle one here. And its stats are horrible. All it knows is hidden power. Um, it's just not a good Pokemon at all. 
there's not really much that's an unknown that showed me to be hindered as a good Pokemon. So, would not recommend it at all. Don't consider it a legendary. So, that's it. That's it for that. Anyways, guys, on the next episode, we are going to be heading back to Five Island to enter that second password into the Rocket Warehouse to enter the Rocket Warehouse. See you guys then.